What's going on, everyone? It is once again time to update another price prediction for another one of your favorite coins, and that is the hottest coin so far of this bull market, probably Solana. It is going and going and going to the upside. Just last week here on the channel, we made a video right here about an updated price prediction for Solana, how high we would get. We talked about that range of about $150 to $160. And sure enough, that's exactly what we ended up actually doing. You can see this video went out on the 7th of March. And then after rejecting once and twice and having 10% pullbacks two different times, Solana not only got back up into this zone, it is now heading towards our secondary target of the zone at the low end of about $176. In this video, we're going to talk about those next couple of ranges. Should you be looking to take profit anytime soon? Over the last couple of days, we have made some banger videos on Cardano and AVAX. Tomorrow, I'll probably take a look at Chainlink. But today, we're focusing on Solana, which just hit $170 a couple of minutes before shooting this video today. How much higher can Solana go before we should be expecting some sort of a pullback? If you're wondering that question, you have chosen the right video if you're already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's go ahead and get some more people in here watching this content. If you are new, thank you so much for choosing the Investing Bros. Hopefully you enjoy the video. With that said, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what's happening in the world of Solana. If you're on news now, this is one of my favorite sites uh, to do research on uh, news projects, and uh, sorry, different crypto projects, find out what's happening in the news. But if you were on Solana and you're looking at the headlines, we have a little bit of a mixed bag this morning. You can see here articles are going to give you some bullishness, meaning you know we had a lot of people turning bullish, 50% leap coming. We have other people calling for corrections, brace for strong Solana correction. It just gets mixed and matched and mixed and matched. But what do the charts say here for Solana? Let's go take a look. As I did mention, again, we hit our price prediction almost perfectly here just last week within days of us calling for it. But now that the bulls have broken through, what are the levels you need to be looking at to the upside? Well, let's take a look at a couple of our generic technical analyst tools, a uh, technical analysis tools, and then we'll take a look using Lux Algo, which has been crushing it, calling for some of these levels and giving us that confirmation that makes us feel good about our different price targets. Uh, starting off with Fibonacci, this is going to be probably the most most important thing to keep an eye on for right now. Now, this is the logarithmic chart. You can see that we are already within the platinum pocket after rejecting on it here back in December. We're squarely into it, and you will see I have a little bit of target here that I highlighted in the last video. If you didn't see it, though, I'll go ahead and highlight it for you. This next range we're looking at between $177 to as high as $185. The top of that platinum pocket is sitting squarely in that level. If you're wondering how I got this platinum pocket or how I got the Fibonacci range, make sure you draw from the top of the bull market down to the bottom of the bear market, and your chart should look very, very similar to mine. That platinum pocket, of course, being the 0.786 to 0.887 range. Now, when you go to a linear chart, it gets a little different, but still is very important. You can see that we have now crossed into the golden pocket here on the linear chart, but the bottom of our range, that 177 or 176, is coming in perfectly right there at the uh, bottom level of the zone that we are talking about here, the top of the golden pocket to the bottom of the zone. So we're seeing this range right in here, confirmation about 177, 176. We're seeing a lot of excuse or a lot of reason potentially for 185 just in this range. But there's another thing talking about this uh, level as well, and that would be the order blocks or the uh, liquidation charts over here on high block. Take a look here on the 12 hour where the heaviest amount of liquidations are sitting right now. Oh, would you look at that right above 175? As you guys know, we very rarely just get to the yellow line. You usually climb a little bit above it. And what is that level going to put us at? The 176, 177 range. Technically, we have some liquidity that goes all the way up to $180. In fact, if I were to go to the seven day chart and refresh this page, we're going to see some actually you know, kind, of, kind of confirmation. 180 looks to be the top of the level of liquidation we have going for us. So when we're seeing this kind of trifecta of confirmation between the linear and log chart of our uh, Fibonacci levels, when we're seeing that be the snippet level for liquidation chart, 
we know that this is the next big target to keep an eye on. Now, I'm, I'll tell you guys, if we were to blast through that, if the Bulls keep going, what's the next level to keep your eye on? But let's see what Lux Algo is saying. Of course, Lux Algo, partnered with the channel, has been crushing it. If you guys are looking to trade or get some added confirmation to your uh, pinpointing price targets for different uh, coins, you guys need to go get Lux Algo. Check out the link down below. Money flow is still flowing very positive with excessive buyers coming in. Now, I will say, again, remember, those of you who watched us use Luxalgo, when you have excessive buyers, at a certain point, when that starts to keel over, it'll keel over fast. And a lot of times, there are big dips that come once the big buyers leave the space. But for now, we're ignoring the red reversals. Our momentum is still blasting through, ignoring bearish divergence. The money flow is still well above our threshold, and excessive buyers are still climbing at this point. So... I feel very good about saying the momentum should continue, despite the fact that if I were to come down to the hourly chart, for example, we're probably going to find some more bearishness as we are dropping this morning. You can see under a big bearish candle right now, but that's only when you look at the Titan view. Yes, if I'm looking for a scalping opportunity, uh, by the time you guys see this video, it's probably too late, but it does look on the hourly chart like a scalping short could happen for Solana. But these longer time frames, like the daily chart, show the momentum is still just getting started. That's just the oscillator. So let's take a look at what the indicators are saying to us. Uh, here on the daily chart, we've actually surpassed now our take profit. But the red reversal continues to climb like crazy right here. If I were to come out to the weekly chart, let's see what it is saying for our next move. Give it just a second to load. There you go. Actually, we're definitely showing that we are overextended both on the daily and the weekly. Let's see what the oscillators on the weekly are saying. Still flowing pretty, pretty strong. So despite the fact that today, tomorrow, maybe even the next couple of days could be a little bit of a pullback, look for, again, uh, a shorter-term rally to, uh, to continue to come. But this is leading me to believe, based off what I'm seeing on the daily chart and the weekly chart, the fact that we are well above our take profits and the red reversal bands are being tested heavily Look for potentially a decent chance to get into this zone, this 177 to 185 zone, and find reversal. Maybe these articles that we're looking at over here where they're talking about a deep correction could be very, very true. If that were to happen, you guys know my theory based on my other videos that these corrections should come in the form of no more than 50%, realistically probably something along the lines of 30%. Let's just pretend that the top is already in and let's see what that would look like. Best case scenario, meaning not a very big dip. It looks like we should still be watching for potential buying opportunities somewhere around $120. I'm going to go ahead and just round it to this top we had back in February 14th. That's going to be a level that's very significant. In fact, even if I were to pull up these and go to lower levels, I'm sure we're going to find some form of order blocks in the same range. Uh, definitely going to be coming down here towards 114, 115. Uh, as a whole, yeah, the, the order box looks like it go to 107. Uh, but my point still stands, former resistance level to be retapped, and it's close to that 30% zone. That's kind of my best case scenario, but of course, looking at 50%, let's talk about that. That brings us down into some of these order blocks and possibly some of these levels back below $100. That would be an extreme move, and it's not the one that I'm necessarily predicting, but again, historically, altcoin dips during bull markets that remain healthy, they can still dip as low as 50% and still be reasonable. The fact is, though, realistically, we're talking more about a level towards 170, 180. Now we're starting to talk about the same, the same levels kind of stay in play. I would say what we're looking for, if that is the strong rejection, somewhere around that 120 to 118 mark does look interesting. If things start to get ugly, we're looking back down towards possibly $100, according to these order blocks. That's kind of my range for if things go to the downside. I'm not suggesting anyone be shorting Solana like crazy if it hits these levels. Even though we're seeing signs the charts are telling us this could be the top out, you never know because there were signs that we could have topped out at 144. There were signs we could have topped out at 153. Now, while there's signs we could top out here around 180, if the bulls continue, I told you guys we would cover that as well. What is the next target you should be watching? Well, there's not a lot of them, but it is going to be the top of the resistance we had in December of 2021 up here at 204. In fact, when we go over here and look at the linear chart, you're going to see that's going to be pretty close. Actually, 211 is going to put us right at the platinum pocket for linear. This is the next major target to look for. But the fact that we are coming in close and we're getting close to testing the top of this golden pocket, 
If I was a betting man, I would put more weight on a touching of 177 and then a 30 to 50% correction. But at the same time, I'm not going to be shorting that. I'm simply going to be looking for lower levels to purchase. And on the off chance those levels never come, I'm still holding a nice Solana bag that will be propping up to above 200 more than likely sooner rather than later. But that's what I'm seeing here on the charts. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. What are your price predictions for the next couple of weeks for Solana? Is the bull run about to come to a close and have a nice 30% correction? Or is it just getting started? Make sure to smash the like button on your way out. Hit subscribe if you have not already. We are already within 600 subscribers of 10,000. Be one of the first 10,000 subscribers here on the channel. With that said, I'll see you guys this afternoon on our 3 p.m. live show. You guys have a great day.